So you should have something that resembles something like this now. Again, don't worry too much about, um, oh, I think it will, like, looks a little bit bigger or a bit fatter than the other because we are actually going to dress um, this. But I just want to show you in terms of some additionals that you could do. So what I want to do is at this top part, I want to give her a little bit more of a chest. So imagine you were putting a collar around the top and crossing it and bring it round to the back. So I'm just going to lightly felt that in place. Just be careful it doesn't ride up towards the neck. So I'm just going to poke that in place around. And what it does automatically is it gives me a little bit more shoulder there as well. And I'll just roll a little piece up and pop there and just felt that into place. If you want her to be a little bit more rounded, you can do exactly the same, a little bit more around the belly, which I think I'm gonna do today. So again, you just carry on belting that. If you want to have a little bit more of a bum there, again, do the same. Little piece on there. Felt that in. And you would just continue and felt that over. It's a good idea. You might have a gap here. Just get a piece of felt right front and back. Now it's going to be a little bit easier this now. You still have to be careful, but you've got a bit more wool on there now. And all I will do is I'll felt and roll. Just popping the arms up there it makes it a bit easier. Just felt and roll. Now, just be careful about your proportions. So you can get your head. You can try the head and see that you're happy. I'm happy that the proportions are fine there. Yeah. So you just poke and roll. So just, you know, a bit of, bit of shaping in there. I can have like a definite waist then and a chest, a chest area. You might want to add a little bit of extra wool around the thigh area. Just be careful with the legs though, because that's your wires are there. Now what I'm going to do with mine, I'm going to add some little shoes on there. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, to if that's something that, that you want to do. But what we're doing now is just basic, very basic needle felt, felting your wool together, turning. And you're going to do that until you're happy with the shape that you want. If you put the arms down, do you want to do a little bit more around the shoulder? Just adding little bits, little bits of wool. I add that around there. With the arms, lift the arms up and get right into underneath because then when you do dress it, it's going to look a bit more realistic. I'll show you with one make that I've been working on, what I mean by that. So this is one um, that I'm working on at the moment. And see by the arms. So it just means that if you poke under the arm, you're going to get that more definite shape. I'm thinking that I might have her with her hands behind her back. So when you have the wire armature, you can do that, but equally, it could have her hands in front and her sitting like that. So these all start like this. This is just many, many hours of poking and, you know, getting this, the sculpting around the neck for the dress. So with this little mouse, you can make a little felt dress like this. 
um, or you can do a little fabric dress like the one I did for the coronation hair. So it's um, it's up to you. So I want you to just carry on now with that, carry on with the felting, and then I'll show you how to do the next day. I just want to show you a couple of ideas for doing the dress. With this um, one that I'm doing, I'm actually going to use some belt and make like a little tutu skirt. Um, but I just wanted to show you an easy hack with ribbon if you're doing the top of a dress. So I just tie that. Just tie it up the waistline. And then holding that at the front, just move that over the shoulder and hold it in place at the back. Twist it, keep holding it in place and bringing it around the other side. Bring it round and go over the part that you're holding. And just twist, so you're making the ribbon shorter. Go around and then repeat. So going over, around, holding it. And then you can come around, hold it in place, come over the shoulder. Hold it in place at the front. Twist it a little. Come round and go over what you're holding. And you can bring that in at the waist. And then you've got the top, a dress top in the back. Looks lovely. You could add um, other ribbon on to do other colours. You would simply just tie it then. And if it puckers up a little bit, you can pull it down. You can just tack, it, tack that in place or glue it in place. If you wanted to do the arms, you can quite easily do that by taking it around and just wrapping it. Just wrapping it over. You might need to put a couple of little tacks in place for that you could do it a lot neater than what I've done there cut it and tack it but you've got the top of a dress there quite easily and what's really good about this is if you do it and you don't like it you can undo it and what I tend to do there is where you tie at the waist snip it and just a couple of little stitches or some uh, some fabric glue in place so that's that's one way of doing that if you if you are a dressmaker you can make a little dress um if you're not a dressmaker you can get a piece of um a piece of fabric this is some of my um eco dye experimentation but you could cut fabric you could lay you know, layer it, cut it. She could have a bit of a over the shoulder one way look. You can do all this with ribbons and with tying. You don't need to do loads of um, dressmaking around that. Um, this is um, one of those like lace doilies. So again, you can cut these. This just one I got from a charity shop. You can make make little tops of dresses and again just tie tie those on um i guess you could even put a little hole or make the hole bigger put that over a head might even get an arm an arm through those yeah i do put a little hole at the top there with a head and you've got the front of a dress there and then add in um like a little tutu Got an old bit of lace here off a make that I was doing. 
So again, you could do very similar in terms of wrapping around, wrapping around and holding and bringing back around maybe um, a different colour ribbon to secure that. Again, I'm doing these very rough and ready, ladies. You know, you just need to put a stitch in place to, to hold that awesome glue. And that would, again, be the top, the top of a little little dress that I could carry on if I wanted to and do, do sleeves. Now, I did do one like that. I'll just show you, not with my little mouse, but with one of the angels um, that I've made. So this this is the kind of um like tutu that we're going to make for the mouse, obviously a lot, a lot smaller. But you can see here with the top of a dress, this was um, like a Broadway on glaze ribbon. And I've just wound that around. I did them a little bit bigger here, a bit looser to give the illusion of cuffs. Um, and this is all glued with fabric glue. I did no stitching. Um, with that I'll show you the back she's actually got some little wings there but I can gently bring them down you see it's lovely and lovely and neat so if you just take your time with it you know see there I've just made um like a little a little band again that's out of um, ribbon that I've just stuck on there but I'm going to show you a really simple way of doing the um the tutu so she's just waiting for a little crown to go on her head, ready for the coronation. OK, so the alternative way of doing this, I'm going to use this pink wool. So there's, there's a couple of ways you can do this. If any of you have watched um, my Earth Angel workshop, I generally take a piece of carded wool. I put a little hole in it. I put it over where I want it to go roughly a shape that I want to make there and it's the easiest way it's a lot of felt so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to work at doing this the alternative way is to just take pieces of the felt and to add them just a little bit at a time and just being mindful, ladies, of the wire. OK. So when I first started doing these, I used to put the head on first. Um, so depending on the order that you've watched these workshops in, um, it might say I'm going to show you how to put the head on. But I just think if you do the dress at this stage, then literally we're talking about putting a hole in here and popping it in um, with a bit of glue and print on the head. So um, I'll show you how to do the dress and then we're going to put some little shoes on um, on the feet. So you can just carry on with this. I tend to, when I'm doing a little bit at a time, which I probably will do with this mouse could because it's so small, um, do the wispy bits of wool like this and lay it and I tend to lay it and cross it over so obviously I'm gonna I'll felt that a bit more into place but just these pieces so what I'm aiming for with this is to make like a bodice top now you can carry on here and if you want to cover all of it so it'd be like I guess like a leotard really there you, you can do that because I guess when you've got the two two on it'll look like she's got a little leotard underneath there now it's perfectly fine if you want to do all your laying first layer that is if you want to do that just gently poke gently poke in place do that it's fine to do that and then go back and felt you know you do it you do it how you want how you want to do it I think sometimes it makes you feel like oh well I can see this taking shape now and some of you might like the fluffy 
the fluffiness um, and not felt it too much. So what we're aiming to do with this, she's going to have on mine and um, she's going to have long sleeves on there. So I'll just show you if, if that's what you want to do. I mean, if you don't and you want to keep the short ones, you literally felt in that in. And if you go sideways with your needle, just around the edge, it'll give you a lovely finish on there. OK. And give you a nice, a nice finish there. But if you want to put the long sleeves on, you just repeat what we did with the hands. That is, wind some round. Secure in place. Wind around. And felt in. And then when you get to the edge, you can just fell around. Again, needle at a slant and it'll give you a lovely, a lovely edge. I'm going to come a bit lower on mine on there. So you're literally... I think I'm going to cover all of mine, actually, make it look a bit like um, a leotard underneath. So you're just covering. I'm going to do this really rough cover and then I'll fill. I can get a bit of music on. I don't know what your your favourite ones are. I love a bit of, a bit of Barbara Streisand, a bit of Whitney Houston, a bit of Shirley Bassey. All the songs that I was brought up on. Have a bit of a sing song and just get get lost in it. So when you when you come to the bottom, if you're gonna do a leotard, put a piece over over the bottom and up to the top. So I do a layer about that thickness and see what you think. You know, if when you've felted it, you think mm, like that's be a bit more. Then you can get your pieces and just layer it over. Now, one of the other things you can do as well at this stage, so that if I pinch there, that's that's roughly where a chest a, a waist is. So you can felt that in a little bit to get that shape. But you're gonna be putting a tutu on her, so that will draw that waist in a little bit and equally. If you want to do a um, bit more on a chest, you can just build those layers of wool up on a chest. So you enjoy that stage, adding the felt, uh, sorry, adding the wool and felt in that in. Equally, if you decide you're going to use some um, lace and, and do that, you might decide you want to do a little bit of both and maybe put a little bit of lace around the top for, um, you know, for a collar. If you want to do the illusion of a collar, which I did on here, I don't know if you'd be able to see it because of the, oh yeah, but turn a sideways. See, I've done a bit of a collar to give the illusion of that neckline. And I'm going to put a bit of lace in the middle there. But if you want to do that, if you get a piece of your, of your wool and felt it all over. So I want you to do that until it's quite firm, but still has a bit of softness there too. Fold it over and bring it around. Now remember to keep keep this bit of a spike, but you bring it around and down at the front. Just lightly felt it into place. And then to get that shape that I've got, you hold it, hold it to the side. And you just keep felting. And you want to get that to the stage where it's really firm. Now, if you if you're able to do that, I'll just show you on one of the others that I've made on this one. If you're able to do that and get it firm, you can embroider onto it. You can embroider around the cuffs. You can add um, these are some um, flowers. They're embroidered flowers, but sold in a ribbon. And that I've put here at the bottom. These are the little shoes that I'm going to show you 
how to make um, on on the feet that will be much smaller, obviously, because our little mouse is tiddler next to this one. But it just gives you it gives you those options to be able to you know to do that. So um, just I guess happy felting now. Um, do this stage and then I'm going to show you how to do the little ballet shoes on here and to make the tutu and hopefully then she's not going to be headless for much longer. Okay so I'm just going to show you how to make the little tutu um, skirt. So by now you will have maybe fully covered or partly covered. Um, if you want to get this feature at the front I use quite a fine needle um, for this. So 40-42 needle And all you do, if you put her on a on the side, you just gently poke, just poke down the side, and it it's the kind of it's the same scenario if you were doing like the ears and you were getting the thickness on the edge, and it will give you that that space. And if by the time you finish that, the white starts to look a bit dirty, which it can do. Um, just get a very fine piece of the white, pop it over and felt it in. And all I've done here with this contrast, this is, um, it's just a fine wall, um, you know, like a, knit, like a knitting wall. So literally all I've done there is popped it on here and I've just felted that in all the way around and it just gives a nice a nice contrast to that if if you think yours is looking a little bit fluffy or maybe like it's got holes in it one way of getting rid of the holes you can just rub it like massage it gently and that helps that helps to get rid of it you can also use a, a fine needle of 40 or 42 and rather than going in that way just going slanted so if it looks like you've got a lot of holes and um, the lighter colors are a little less forgiving than like with a darker one like this you very rarely see the needle holes so if you just did a very thin put it over again with your needle slanted and very gently very gently poke that in it actually does disguise the holes for you okay so a couple of couple of tips there so what you're looking at with this um tutu is a piece of um this is like a, a voile material so or um you're looking you're looking for something like this you can use an organza as well that works works quite nice so you're looking for about 18 centimeters of this tool and you're looking for the center point so on the center point i've got a couple of pieces here cut these are about four centimeters wide and you just tie that just tie it in the middle okay and what we're going to do, we're going to add like bits of ribbon. So I've got some different colour ribbons ready here. I'm kind of doing this as part of my coronation newsletter. So I'll use the reds and the blues and I've got the white there. But I actually love that purple and I love this rainbow multicolour. So, you know, feel feel free, use your creativity. So what I want to do first is just see how I am for length, because that's going to fit around the waist area and just to see whether that's kind of covering what I want it to cover or if it's too it's too long I think I'm going to have a sit in and I'll just show you a little a little tip if you use your mat so you bend bend the legs and sit sit her like this 
and then use um use a strong needle you know maybe a 38 or a 36 even and felt just felt going downwards you'll have to do it for a little while but if you do that then she's going to stay more in a sitting position you can move her forward and do the same so you need to do it until that's really feeling quite firm yeah for a sitting so i'm i'm going to do that so i'll carry on doing that um that later so i i think in terms of the length because i want it i want it to be quite long and sticking out i think i'm quite happy with that but do do your length just do one to start with and then you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna waste that so then i've got a little bit of spare ribbon this is a, a good time to you know any bits of ribbon and things that you've got use your scraps up so this one's quite short but that's fine and i'm just gonna tie it and i'm gonna move it up oh <laughs> was a bit a bit too a bit too hard then move it up into there and so this now is your opportunity to be as creative as you want to be. I'm going to take another piece of tool. And I've got a few different um, lengths of this. So you can do some long and some short and some medium. And I'm going to tie that and pop that on there. So all you need to do with this is carry on. Carry on doing this on either side mix your your colors and things and obviously this is going to be tied this is going to be tied onto her so you can keep throwing it on and see what it looks like you can do layers over the top and tie that so that there's no no gaps which is what i did with this one so i did a whole layer going round so i turn around I did a whole layer going round and then I did another layer over the top and you can always trim them afterwards. All you need at the back is sufficient to be able to tie it in a bow. OK, so. Just keep that in mind. Now, obviously, with this, I could go all the way up to there on either side. That could be where I leave. I leave that there's going to be more under here and you can maybe get a trim like this trim if you wanted and cut a piece off and stick on there or I could stick take them off and stick along the back so you know it's up to you how you how you do that so enjoy doing that take your time and um and then I think we're on for, for doing the little belly shoes. So enjoy doing that and I'll see you shortly.